Hello and welcome to the first video of this channel. Today we are going to build a relay clock. So here are all the parts we need. Transistors, resistors, capacitors, some dip sockets for the relays, LEDs, trim parts, diodes, and that's basically it. And some switches maybe. We will also need a lot of wire and some huge perf board single-sided. It's 18 by 30 centimeters. We'll see how it goes. So these are some basic plans made in a co program called Blackboard which just show me what to do and how to wire everything up and where to place all the parts. Now just like it is here it will not fit on this perf board. I have to make it a bit smaller but this just gives me a general idea of how to do it and where to put everything and yeah, this would be the converting stage and the display uh, this will be a seven segment display but not with a standardized pinout it's my own pinout so please be careful if you build this you have to watch out and this would these will be the control boards for setting the time or turn it on and off and uh, some light control to turn the lights off at night they will go onto this small board double sided perf board and that's it let's go one thing you should do here is you see there are a lot of trim parts you should set them to the same resistance beforehand and I will set this to about 80 ohms so you don't have to do it all in circuit that would just make it difficult The first stage is complete. It took quite a lot of finding ways where to put the wires and how to make everything fit together. It works now though. The green line is to start everything off. This will start the last LED or relays of the row and the yellow wire is for the clock signal so I can just give it a manual signal here now the trim pots are for the turn-off delay so once it gets a signal the trim pots tell how long it takes to take uh, turn off the, fir the previous station so you can set this very slow or very fast depending on how, what you want and also it's important for the clock speed you are putting in so if I go ve very very fast it's not going to do it properly just or if I hold it it just cycles through so let's finish this
circuit boards are done. They gave me quite some headaches. It's just a big mess with wires and transistors and everything. So this is the controller board. Six buttons to set each digit on its own. Power, um, the switch to set the time to stop the the uh, signal coming through. So you can do this. Basically a circuit to shorten the impulse of these two um, oscillating parts and what I forgot in the original plans a circuit to reset if the time re reaches 24 hours. Here in Europe we use 24 hours and um, I just forgot it would, it would count up to 29 hours and whatnot. Here we have a little circuit to fade the LED that indicates that this circuit is working. And here we have a switch and some trimmers to set the brightness a bit and a switch to make it go full brightness or lower brightness. Okay, that's it. Controller board. Now we have the first stage which counts the seconds, seconds, minutes. This is the original place for a 555 oscillating circuit which I put on this little board. It's not that accurate so I used a crystal here so that works better. It's a little more accurate in counting. As you can see this is just a big mess of wires and LEDs and everything. That took quite a long time to finish. Also the second counting board again minutes, hours and hours. It's just whoa. now this is the converter board which takes in the counting signals and puts it out to the well, seven segment display signals, just diodes and a big mesh of, wi of wi wires and some two wires for the modification with the, with the reset and if it reaches 24 hours and this is just the display. Now I've grinded these LEDs down, put some black paint over them just to dim them down a bit. This was by far the easiest part of it, all of it. Okay, now I'm going to put this all together using 3 millimeter rods and some nuts right here, right here. They fit perfectly into these holes here. So when I'm done, Okay, everything is done now, so let's give this power. This is just the state it, it comes with when, it, when you turn it on. And you flick the switch, if I can find it. On. Now we have a few brightness settings, which I have to find first quite hidden. I'm not used to this. Okay, this is super low, a bit brighter, and I think here it is. Yes, very full full power. That's the brightest it can get. But for the sake of my eyes, let's keep it low. Now if I push the buttons to set the time I can everything works 
every single one of them even for the seconds I can change those if I want to now as I said earlier it I forgot to add something and uh, it will come up now if I switch this over to the full it's doing some weird stuff but it works so basically it just resets these three digits to go back to zero this will be set to zero from the second side anyway so that will work out just fine now let's say this is our time we set it to well, let's get it counted where is that switch there it is there Now, as you can see, this is the voltage it needs. It runs at about 5 volts. It runs best at this voltage. And this is the amperage. It take, it's taking about 5 watts right now. now. If I ramp the display brightness up, it will take a lot more. Now, this is at the second intensity. And if you go full brightness, it will take almost 10 watts just for the whole thing. It's a bit much, but, well, why not? It's working, as you can see. Now I will turn some lights off and you can see it even better. Hang on. Turn the brightness down to the lowest. There it is. And I will turn off the big light. But now you can look in here and see it switching over. This is the second, sta second stage from 1 to 10, below that is from 0 to 5, and below that is for the minutes from 0 to 9, sorry, the first one is 0 to 9, 2, and that's all it does, and it's clicking a lot. And that's it finished. Working as it should. Finally. Now, the weak point of this clock is, oddly enough, not the connecting wires that connects all the boards up to each other. The problem is the wiring on the board itself. It's very, very, well, let's say touchy. Just five minutes ago, this all, this complete board the second one it acted up completely wouldn't count over got stuck or just did random stuff it's working now just because one little wire wasn't sitting correctly uh, so my soldering is not the best any uh, as well so well that, that's what you get and this LED decided to break it's, that's what you get for, get for ordering cheap Chinese LEDs. Oh well. So this is my first big project on this on this channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. <laughs>